Welcome back, citizens from all. Welcome back to a little more Dragon's Dogma 2. Let's talk about the basics of combining things. I like to do this at the storage chest versus my inventory. It's just a little easier for me because that way I can quickly store things if I want to. Plus everything that is stored, I can use that as well as stuff in my direct inventory. So you can experiment and just randomly combine things and it'll tell you what it'll turn into. If you've not found it before, it'll also tell you that. And then every recipe you've discovered will also just be here. And the ones that you're able to use will be at the top. As you can see, we've got some pretty cool ones. There we go. But I, I mainly like to experiment. So let's see here. Dried spud and... Okay, so and then you can take those rubberants and, and combine those. Lubrious draughts. So overall, this is a way to make recipes and things, and these are always going to be pretty basic uh, bonuses. They're not going to be super good. I think as you get further down the line, like you can make some nicer stuff. You can make the elixirs to heal yourself with, and and have like legitimate curatives. But I typically do just the basic health potions, and then the basic food. And that's all I need because I, I keep a healer in my party, so I don't mess with this too much. But just so you know, you can combine and make things within this, and they definitely do come in handy. So, on that note, I'll take care and enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2.